This is a 112 foot Westport, it's a 2014, it's an American built boat and this is very typical of the American style of super yacht, very family focused, very comfortable, very cosy, just a really lovely place to be. So I'm going to take you on board of this one and give you the full tour, I'm going to go to every area and this door here you'll see the other side of that, so I'll just mention it now so that when I talk about it you know where that is but that comes straight out onto this bathing platform. So we're going to head on up. Now, one of the things that you'll notice with this straight away, obviously we've got the cockpit here, but there are no side decks at this end of the boat. And what they've done is they've brought the cabin right out to the edges. And that means for a 112 foot boat, which is big anyway, of course, it's absolutely enormous inside. And I'll take you in and show you exactly what I mean. There's a bar area just here. So fridge, for example. So that kind of stuff is in here. But it's a nice little serving area. You've got the sink there as well. But yeah, come and take a look in here. Caraxis is down here, so crew cabins, that sort of thing. We're gonna see all of that. We're gonna take you around the interior first of all. This is rather lovely. Look at that. And this is what I mean about that traditional American cozy finish. You've got the dark mahogany in the satin finish, then you've got the light carpets, the light upholstery. It's very classy, it's very cozy, and it's very, very comfortable, and most of all, it's very, very big because without the side decks, we are the full width of the yacht and you can really feel that here. We've got sort of sideboard areas here with the glasses and so forth. A very comfortable social space just there. Little card table or whatever you want to call it over here. Nice little area. And then dining a little bit further on. They've done a really nice job with the woodwork in this one, actually, and you can see it up in places like this as well, which you don't normally get on this level of boats. It's normally the larger ones that start to have that kind of thing. But this has got it, and it looks superb. So, we are going to head forward, first of all. Now, you might expect to find a main deck master cabin, but you won't. You'll find something else which is very American. So, we'll press on up through here. Day heads is here. This is real peacock feathers, would you believe? That's incredible, isn't it? And then up here, where you might expect to find a main deck owner's cabin on a European boat, this is what you get on an American boat. Look at that, that is absolutely fantastic. So it's basically like a massive country kitchen. And it's very much the American way of doing things. They have this as a big social space. They all gather here in the mornings or the evenings somebody's cooking up a feast, everyone's sat around on this. It's just a lovely place to be. And I think it speaks of the sort of social nature and the way that they use their boats. They have a lot of people gathering, a lot of fun had. And it's just a kind of a, a more casual vibe, I think. It just sort of speaks of everyone hanging out, chilling out, having a great time. There's nothing really formal about this. Having said that, it is beautifully done and it is absolutely immaculate. The crew on this boat do a fantastic job. And then if we head forward, we will find a completely separate double cabin. This is great. If you've got several generations on board, you might have the owner and the kids in the main part of the accommodation on the lower deck, and then this is a separate, almost like an annex really, for perhaps grandparents who want to have their own space away from the hubbub. And that works very, very well indeed. Again, it's just all so comfortable and cosy, isn't it? If we go around here, we'll find the ensuite to this cabin. So we've got the loo, we've got the shower, of course. And we've got the basin. It's all a very nice size. And the other thing you've got here, well, obviously you can see there's drawers and storage and all that sort of thing, but there's also a really nice walk-in wardrobe just here check that out that's fantastic but as I say what's nice about this is it's completely separated off from the main part of the accommodation which is what I'm going to show you in just a moment so if I back right up into this corner you'll get a good sense of the size of this check that out brilliant okay let's press on a bit further I love the woodwork on these doors in fact everywhere they've done a nice job on this it's great so back up to the country kitchen, and you can see what I mean about how this becomes its own separate annex at the bow of the boat, having that cabin down there. Direct access up to here, just superb. Let's go right around here just so you can see everything. So yeah, all the usual kind of stuff, really. We've got 
dishwasher in here. We've got the twin sinks. We've got the cooking refrigeration, obviously, over here. A ton of space is the sort of thing we can spend some serious amounts of time. Head off for a week, head off for a month, head off for the year. It's that sort of boat. Okay, if we come back down here a little bit, I'm curious as to what's in here. Uh, okay, that's just a hanging locker for sort of, you know, outdoor gear and that sort of thing. And then if we head back a little bit further, we'll wrap around onto this side of the boat. Look at what they've done these marble inlaid sections as you come in. This is like a little pantry area. There are other laundry facilities on the boat, but you've got them here as well. Servers as well, and that kind of stuff is all tucked away in there. I'm sure there's a light, there is a light in there somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where the switch is. So, nonetheless, that's what's going on in there. And then this takes us down to the lower deck. So this then has the owner's cabin and that's through here. And as you can see, it's as magnificent as you'd expect on a yacht of this size. Double doors coming into here so it feels really wide, really open. Got this lovely dressing table over here or you can use it as a desk if you want to work from home. These Japanese style blinds over the windows. So these just slide open like this. Very nice. I think they're called shogi blinds. I might be wrong. Somebody will tell me I've got it completely wrong, but I think that's what they're called. Love this chair here. And then you've got the ensuite to this cabin is here. Toilet it is there. And then there's a big central shower. And I say it's a central shower because this extends all the way across. And in fact, if I reverse back out of here and we loop around the bed, cut all the storage there is along here. It's back to what I was saying earlier about it being a comfortable boat you can spend some serious time on. You've got another ensuite on this side. So this again has its own basin, its own toilet, but then it shares that central shower. You can see through the one we were in a second ago over there. That's fantastic, isn't it? And of course, lockers about the place with towels and all that sort of stuff. Here as well, these are all these drawers. That's a nice room, isn't it? Back here, <laughs> as you'd expect, just an absolutely enormous walk-in wardrobe. That's almost like a cabin in its own right, isn't it? You could put a bed in there and sleep somebody in there. That's how big that is. Okay, love these double doors. It's a proper entrance as you come in and out, isn't it? And then back here, we've got the central lobby area and then there are two more cabins, so four in total. This one is a twin. They're all such a great size, aren't they? Tons of headroom, tons of space, big square bedrooms. They don't feel like cabins, they feel like proper home from home, and that's what this boat is all about. Ensuite for this one is here. Shower is tucked away in there, and then we've got basin. We've got the loo, and so forth. Nice, huh? Let's go a bit further. So right on round. And then check this out. Another really big, spacious, comfortable guest cabin. Double bed, obviously. This one's got the wardrobe over here. And then we've got the ensuite to this one here. So shower is in through there. Very good size. There we go. Mirror wave is there. Sink is there. Toilet is there. Superb. So that is the accommodation. There's more to look at, much more to look at. What we're going to do now is take a turn around the front of the boat. And I mentioned how there are no side decks. In fact, the side decks start here. You can see how this bulkhead comes along. And you can see how much space you would lose if you took the side decks all the way back. This would be level with this. And you can see how much more you get. And of course, that's echoed on both sides. So to get to the bow, you come out through these doors. And there we go. That's where that swells out. They've got uh, side access here. So doors and the bulwarks. So if you're alongside a dock, you can come straight in and straight through, which is rather nice. And then we close that one over and head up this way. This takes us up to the bow. 
look how high these are. I mean, you really do feel like you're in this boat as you move around it. Look how polished it is as well. It looks really, really good. So we've got keyhole seating up here. That's a nice little social zone. Love what they've done with the floor on here as well. That looks great. And then we've got some bathing up on there and they put the rails on this one around as well. So it makes that quite a secure area. That's just a little deck locker in there. Like so, cleaning gear or whatever else you want to keep in there. And then a bit more seating right up at the bow. And if we come all the way around, we can come back down this side. Look at these big windows, that's to get so much light and, and the lovely feeling of space in there. And then this door again, similar to what we saw on the other side. We've got a bit of a damp floor here. I'm trying to work getting my socks wet. There we go. And we're back in. So just to reorientate ourselves, we are back at the saloon area, heading forward, past the day heads. That was the country kitchen. We're going to go this way this time. And this will take us up to the bridge. Again, it's just such a lovely area. Look at the size of this. This is fantastic. There's so many lovely zones on this boat. Helm position is here. We've got this wonderful steering wheel. Check that out. We've got new touch screens all the way through the bridge here. Really good view out. We've got the blinds on at the minute, so it's not giving you a best impression of that, but there is a really nice curve to that all the way around. It's got great visibility. We've also got, obviously, all the navigation kit is here, engine controls thrusters, autopilot. That one there is a searchlight system. No, it's not. That one there is a camera system. I do apologise. <laughs> so that's like uh, got cameras around the boat you can select and then you can joystick around to sort of pan and zoom and that kind of stuff. Communications over there. But yeah, this is a really lovely area. Check this out. That's impressive, isn't it? And don't get me wrong, I know 112 foot. <laughs> it's a super yacht, you expect space. But this has a lot. For a 112 foot boat, it is very, very impressive. Okay, we're going to head up now up onto the flybridge. What they've done with this is there's a big hard top on here. And then you've got this kind of just like this isinglass, I think it is, stuff here. So this is flexible. And you can take this out if you want to and have it open, or you can enclose it as we've got it at the moment and it wraps all the way around and turns this into a sort of a semi-indoor area, really. Wing station is here, but then there is over here an upper helm. Seats are spun around at the minute to make it a bit more social, but obviously when you're underway, <laughs> you rotate 180 degrees and away you go. So the wheel is there, and again, thrusters and engine controls and the touch screens and so forth are all there, and then you view out across the front like so. How about that? But it's nice because it means you can enclose all of this if you want to and use this like almost like an indoor space or have it completely open. And then when we come back here, love this bar area. And back to it again saying, you know, just what a social boat this is. As a party boat, as a place to be with your family or your friends, it'd just be fantastic, wouldn't it? So those are there. We've got, um, I think there's a fridge there. Yep, pretty sure that's a fridge and so forth, sink over here, etc. Perfect, okay, let's head on around. We're gonna take a couple of steps down. We've got sunbathing back here. We've also got a jacuzzi underneath this one. And we've also got the jet skis and the crane there to lift them on and off. Now you can have a tender in the center as well if you want to. So this is effectively a boat deck here, but with this particular boat, they have a chase boat that they tow. So they don't have a need to have a tender up here at all. Um, but obviously if you wanted one you could have it that's why it's got these sockets on the floor so you can put in your chocks a bit like these jet skis are sat on and that's where that would live and from here we can wind ourselves back down to the aft deck and i'll take you down and show you the true areas and the engine space because there's nothing on this boat that's not spectacular so it's all well worth seeing so we're back down here this time we're going to loop around so that's back into the saloon this time we're using this door here and we'll head on down So this is the crew space. 
and what we've got here is a really nice mess area we've got cooking facilities refrigeration washing machines down here as well we saw those ones that were on the main deck well, there's more down here operating system for the boat here switch gear all that kind of stuff is all here and then we can come down through here there are three cabins on here three crew cabins captain's cabin is here it's a bit dim isn't it I don't know whether we can brighten this up a little bit let's have a look yeah we can there we go that's better so yeah captain's cabin there with a the desk there's the phone intercom system for the boat a lot of storage in behind here and then this has its own ensuite and that's in here and again there'll be a light switch somewhere there we go this boat's very much in use at the minute so we're not going to linger too much in here but that's why there's clothes and things around separate shower in there and that is again it's kind of like guest standard quality isn't it which is nice Let's turn that back off, leave it as I found it. Decent amount of storage. This is a really nice cabin, actually. I like this. <laughs> I could be quite comfortable down here. So, yeah, that's that one. If we come back a bit further, we have got a twin cabin here for crew. This is the door. Remember when we came on board and I said there's a door in the transom, I'll show you the side of that. Well, that's it, because this is a lazarette area so you can store i don't know wetsuits and that sort of thing down here and have them straight out and onto that maybe in fact people are swimming or jet skiing or whatever they're doing so yeah that cabin there and in fact if we go into here you'll see this has an ensuite but it's a shared ensuite so there's a door through there and that's through to the other guest cabin this one has got the uh, the loo in the basin and again a proper separate shower area in here nicely done so let's come back out of that one loop our way around that's the other one again let's go to full lights there we are very nice so um, twin beds again wardrobe that kind of stuff drawers down here and point the camera the right way and that's the ensuite we just saw so that's shared between these two so yeah three really decent crew cabins and a rather nice crew mess area here as well and in fact I can brighten that up too there we go that's better awesome I'm taken with this boat actually I really am space they've got on here and the condition this is in is fantastic and that extends even into here look at this that is crisp and clean and well lit and mighty now what we've got here is a pair of mtu 16b 2000 engines they're 2000 horsepower each and they're giving this yacht about 25 knots flat out which when you consider the volume that we've got it's pretty impressive really 22 knot cruise if you want a fast cruise if you want distance well then you drop it down to 12 knots and you've got yourself two and a half thousand miles of range but yeah that is that is pretty impressive. I was talking to the broker earlier, and if I remember the numbers correct and check if this is important to you, because I might have this wrong, but I don't think I do. These engines have got 5,000 hours on them, and the generators have got 10,000 hours. And look at the condition of them. I mean, that is a loved boat, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. I love the way you can walk all the way around here. Gen sets on the outside, so one there, the other one is over. That's that fella over there. You see her fishing rods up here. We're back to the American way of life, aren't we? But yeah, that, I think, is pretty darned impressive. It's a pretty darn impressive boat, actually. I like this a lot. You can possibly gathered that by now. You've got these bars down here, so if you're walking through and the boat's out at sea, you've got something to hold on to and steady yourself. And yeah, big, meaty, lovely engines. Okay, let's head back out. A little workbench here with your tools, whatever else you want to have down here. Factory switches, easy to get to. Very nice indeed. All right, let's come out of here. Close that one back over. There we go. And I should turn those lights back as I found them, shouldn't I? Bear with. Uh, 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 we would like, I think they were on evening mode. 
basically you've got switches here, let me just show you. So you can switch between evening mode, night mode. Um, so if you just hit on, it just puts everything on. If you put it to evening mode, and you've got these in the cabins as well, of course. And it just brings it down like that. We'll do the same for this one. Evening. Perfect. Good. Okay. <laughs> We've restored the equilibrium. It's nice, isn't it? Right. Back out through here. Back into the cockpit. And I think we will finish off over here because the last thing to say is a massive thank you to Dennis and Yachts they've organized this tour I've put a link to those guys in the description and a massive thanks to you guys of course for watching it let me know what you think of that I think you know what I think of it I'm quite impressed but I'll be keen to hear your thoughts and we'll catch you on another one of these real soon take care bye bye